Hello, I'm Greensboro Mayor Nancy Vaughn. As we approach the holiday season, on Tuesday, November 21st, District 2 City Council member Dr. Goldie Wells and I are encouraging the community to take a few minutes to pray according to your own beliefs, or you can simply take a moment to reflect on our city and those lives lost to gun violence this year. There are many things we have to celebrate, but that's for another time. Tuesday, we are lifting up our city and families who have been impacted by gun violence. No matter where you are, whether you're at work, in the checkout line at the grocery store, out walking or sitting in traffic, please join us to take a minute to pray or reflect, to bring healing to those families who are grieving this holiday season. Dr. Wells, the city council, and I know that prayer alone will not solve the problem of gun violence. But for a few minutes, we can all speak with one voice. We can open our hearts and minds to our neighbors in this vast city, even if we don't know them. We can look within ourselves for how we can be a part of a community-wide solution to curb gun violence. It's everybody's problem. How can you be part of the solution? What is your prayer for peace? My prayer goes like this. Dear Father God, please be with those families whose hearts are broken. Bring them healing comfort as they rebuild their lives. Hold them close in their time of mourning. By your grace, give them strength. I pray they will feel your loving arms surrounding them as they walk on this journey. Help them know that they are not alone in their grief. Father God, please soften the hard-hearted. Create in them a clean heart. Give them the strength and courage to see people through your eyes. Please guide them towards change. May they seek forgiveness for their transgressions and make amends to those they have harmed. Father God, please protect our first responders as they serve others and keep them safe. Grant them wisdom in their decisions. Give them courage when they are afraid. Give them strength when they are weary. Surround them and their families with your unconditional love. Father God, I pray for our city. I pray that unity may prevail. Help me be an instrument of your peace. Help us come together to resolve issues that affect us all. May we bring our hearts, our talents, and our experiences to the table to find solutions together. God, help us listen to each other and to withhold judgment. Be our strength every day. Guide our thoughts and actions. Just like the story of the Good Samaritan, we are all brothers and sisters. Thank you for teaching us to love each other regardless of our differences. May our city be a beacon for love and fairness. In God's name, I pray. I want to share a passage from the poem entitled, Sad, Tired, and Angry, A Prayer in the Face of Gun Violence. I come before you once again, after another shooting. I am sad, God. So I ask you to receive into your loving care the souls of those who were killed, to care for those who were hurt or wounded in any way, to console the family members of those who died or were wounded, to strengthen the hands of the rescue workers medical professionals, and caregivers. I pray for the shooter, as I must as a Christian. All this makes me inexpressibly sad, but I know that the sadness I feel is your sadness. Thank you for sharing these few minutes with me. As we approach the holiday season, no matter how you celebrate, please be safe.